Hello everybody and welcome back to the continuation of my flipping series. I'm really excited to be back and uh, I took a week and a half off just to have a quick look at where I wanted to go uh, with this series in the future. Obviously there was a pretty big demand for it. A lot of people were asking for it to continue on and well the numbers kind of speak for themselves. So around one and a half weeks ago I finally reached my goal of a twist to bow which uh, at the current time was hovering around one bill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue onwards to max cash. Now I'm going to try to do that in six months, which is going to be kind of challenging uh, for a couple reasons I'm going to explain. Now 1.1 bill in six months is going to be kind of challenging, uh, but what's going to make that even harder is I am going to be giving away a third of all of my profits to my main account because recently I've been really wanting to play my main and I thought it'd be really interesting to try some of the best uh, training methods in the game, even if they are expensive because we have this really good source of money coming in. Uh, so essentially what that means is I'm actually going to need closer to 1.8 bill in six months, which is going to equate to around uh, 10 mil a day. Now, in my opinion, this is going to be kind of challenging. Obviously, some people are going to say it's easy. Some people are going to say it's impossible. 10 mil a day on its own isn't really that inconceivable, but 10 mil every day for six months straight means I'm going to miss a couple days here and there. I'm going to have bad days. It's definitely going to be harder than that. But I think it's hard enough that I will actually need to change up what I'm doing. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. I didn't want to really want to continue on with the exact same strategy I've been doing pretty much for the last nine months. I think that would get a bit stagnant. So I picked a number that is going to be hard to reach and I'll definitely have to try out some new things. Whether it be flipping brand new items, flipping sites, flipping Elijah and stuff like that. It will give me some room to experiment. And finally, if I don't reach my goal in time, I'm not going to be giving away all of my money or nearly killing myself on a spicy pepper but I will be doing a fun community day with a pretty big drop party, somewhere between 100 and 200 mil. More of a reward for my viewers rather than a punishment for me, but hopefully still enough of a motivator to try to get this done on time. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoy the series. Now we're going to be calling it Twisted Bow to Max Cash. If you're stoked for the series, I'd appreciate it if you took the time to leave the video a like, and let's get started. There it is, 1 billion GP, such a clean spot to start on. Uh, I'm going to try to start off strong this week. We're going to be doing a ton of flips. One thing I'm going to have to kind of change between the way I was recording and doing things earlier and the way I'm going to be doing it in the future is previously I would try to capture every single flip that I did just to give a full account of everything I was doing. I may have missed the occasional flip, but for the most part, it was all inclusive. However, going forward, I'm predicting I could have easily double the clips and I really don't want the episodes to get any longer. I think 20 minutes is pretty much the maximum I want them to be. It'll keep everything in depth and interesting but not uh, drone on too long. Now essentially what I'm saying is there are going to be flips that I'm just straight up not going to include. Obviously you are going to see that in the profit. I'm going to be focusing on obviously my best flips, uh, any of my worst flips, and anything else that is kind of just interesting that would have happened and new items I'm trying. If I'm doing the same flip over and over again, you guys are probably going to be getting the idea. With that said though, we're going to be starting off with one flip I've done a lot and one I've actually never really tried before. One thing I kind of want to do more of is third age equipment. It's a pretty interesting category because they trade fairly frequently, more than you would imagine, at least the more common ones. And they have pretty good margins. With that said though, they are pretty much cosmetic and they change in price quite a lot. For example, the third age full right now is about a 200k margin, which is pretty good for its price. But really, we're gonna have to see how quickly it buys and sells. And for the rest of my flips here, I'm doing a couple other common items like the Elder Mall, which is still kind of going crazy because of the Nightmare release, the Eternal Gem, and finally, we're gonna try the Spectral Spirit Shield. This one, we're gonna be actively flipping, so we're gonna be here for most of the day, which will allow us to actually get this margin, which is actually about 300k. Pretty happy with that. We'll go ahead and do four of them. And let's see what we can get done today. Okay, so we have a few successful sales on our third age items. Kind of to limited success, if I'm being honest. The third age Fulham was actually pretty good. We continued to get about a 200k margin on them. And we did about six or seven of them. However, the third age plate bodies, which we invested a ton more money into, we only got around a 150k margin. Could have been a lot better, but uh, it started dropping in price and we just decided to dump it for a minor profit instead of taking a loss. And we got a surprisingly good margin on the Dragon Full Helm, a 450k margin. 
and we did four of them so far which gave us about a 1.8 mil profit definitely gonna try that item again haven't really flipped much of the dragon full helm like i was saying we did a ton of other flips as well altogether after day one that has brought us about 8 mil in profit which is pretty good not quite enough if i'm being honest we need about 10 mil a day but you know what, it's still day one, we're getting into the groove still, and I think once we really start experimenting with new items, we'll be able to hit 10 mil a day, I think, pretty easily. Uh, we're going to start off with another third age full helm flip, because that worked pretty well, we're going to go for 15 of them. Like I was saying, the dragon full helm worked really well, uh, we're going to go ahead and do another 5 of them. Still looking for about a 450k margin, which is really good, even considering the price point and the volume for this item, I think it's still worth it. Okay, so it's just a bit past noon, and I do need to head out here for probably 5 or 6 hours, so I'm not going to be around. So I decided I'm going to put in a bunch of slow flips. We did the Vigor's Chain Maze, the Infinity Top, the Monk's Robe Top G, uh, the Cape of Skulls, Dragon Crossbow U. They're all items that I've had success on in the past, but pretty slow. I normally do them overnight, but since I'm going to be gone so long, I think they're going to work for now. And last up here, an item I really haven't done much is the Dragonfire Ward. We're going to try buying it for 28.335. Going to do a full buying limit pretty much. And we're going to call that a day for now. I'll hopefully check back in later. Okay, we got a really exciting move here. You can see in the bottom left corner kind of, we just bought an Inquisitor's Great Helm. Very risky because this item is currently dropping, but we kind of lowballed an offer. And we did manage to pick it up after about one hour hour so i'm pretty confident i'll be able to turn a profit on this we're gonna try selling it back for about a three mil profit we bought it for just shy of 210 mil i'm gonna try selling it for 212.5 mil which would be about a three or four mil profit i am pretty nervous about it but i really hope it works out honestly even though that is a really good margin the risk is so high right now because at any point these items could crash really really quickly so if this item even starts to crash a bit i'm probably gonna have to take a big loss on it but you know what, I think it could be worth the risk, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now as far as my other items, we did the Third Age Full Helm. I ended up doing about 12, and we got at least a 200k profit on all of them. Once the rest of those sell off, we're going to get about a 2.8 mil total profit, which I'm very happy with because it's a pretty rare item, yet I was able to flip quite a few of them. Uh, we also did the Dragon Full Helm, which we didn't get as good a margin on as the last time, but we still got about a 1.2 mil profit. Just one more reminder, I am obviously doing a ton of other flips here, but it's just too much information to go over. I'd rather just focus on the most important ones. So the Third Age item has actually been doing us pretty well so far. We're going to go ahead and buy another buying limit of it for about 15.115, which is about a 260k profit. Now, as of today, the Inquisitor's Great Helm is one of the only things that is reasonably affordable that I could actually flip. That is going to change over the next week, I'm sure, but we're really going to have to play it by ear because if these items start crashing really quickly, it'll be way too risky to flip. But other items I could consider doing is the Nightmare Staff because it's probably one of the cheaper items. Maybe one of the Orbs if it gets cheap enough, I don't know, those do seem to be some of the more expensive items. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be checking in later today because I'm not leaving this item overnight. But to accompany it, we're going to be doing a few different items. We're going to do actually just a regular Justice Year armor set flip, just buying them back and forth. And we're going to do some Zamoraki and Spears and actually a high volume item for some reason. The Ruby Dragon Bolt E has a pretty good margin and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we managed to sell the Inquisitor's Great Helm for 212.5 mil. Very happy with that. That's about a 2.5 mil profit. I'll definitely take that. I was kind of getting worried I would have to stay up kind of late. Now, it's 8.14 p.m. I did put another offer in. If it doesn't come through in the next 20 minutes, I think I'm going to call it a night. Wow, it just feels really nice to flip something for such an amazing profit. And we just insta-sold something. God damn it. Okay, it's actually the following morning, and we're trying for another Inquisitor's Full Helm flip. You notice right there, I bought one for 208 and sold it back for 208 I was kind of a margin check, so we didn't actually make any money on it. However, we did buy one for 205, which currently looks like about a 3.8 mil profit, which would be really good. Hopefully, we can sell this next one for 208. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get it. I kind of freaked out. We sold it for just a 1 mil profit. I'm still going to take it. I'm not unhappy with that. Kind of freaking out, though, because if I wait too long, I start kind of doubting it. I got to get better at that. But we're going to try now for one at 203. 
Okay, we had no luck with buying the item at 203. It's about an hour and a half later, but everything did sell off. So at least we'll be able to see uh, where we're at right now. Now, over the last couple of days, I've been doing a ton of regular flips. I've been producing pretty decent profits. For example, just here, we got about 780K on the Cape of Skulls. Uh, 1.3 mil on three Saradoman God Sword ornament kits. That is really, really lucky. Ends up getting a 450k margin there. Uh, we got about 600k on the Ancient Wyvern Shields, 900k on the Dragon Full Helms, 600k in the Guardian Boots. Like everything is profitable. And you can see right now we're up to 21 mil on profit so far. And we are only on day two. So we kind of caught up. That means we actually did make 10 mil every day. Now it's going to be a bit easier to get 10 mil in profit during the first couple of days of every uh, video because I am actively playing more. The last two days, I'm technically supposed to be on my days off. I do obviously check my flips, but I'm not really able to be on the computer all day. I think it's important to have a break, but is obviously going to impact my profitability. Okay, we're going to start off here with another Third Age item flip. We're going to continue on with the Third Age Full Helm because it has a pretty good margin and is really inexpensive for a Third Age item at least. Okay, I do want to try to continue on with the Inquisitor's Great Helm. Uh, we're going to try reducing our offer to 203 and see if we can get maybe a 2 mil profit again. Okay, we're going to do an Ancestral Armor Set combination. Normally, I kind of just do this when I'm lazy and I can't find any items. Generally pretty profitable and it, well, takes up a lot of offer slots. And to keep it company, we're going to do a couple other random items. Uh, the Team Cape Zero and the Magic Fang. And that is going to be it for now. I'll check back in when I buy the Great Helm and we'll see where we can go from there. There we go. That is a 2 mil profit on the Inquisitor's Great Helm. Really good. We're going to go ahead and do it again pretty much immediately. We kind of have a rough idea of what the margin is right now. I mean, it could be bigger than this, but I'm happy with a 2 mil profit as long as it keeps moving quickly and the item doesn't crash on me. There we go. There is another 2 mil profit just like that. Really, really quick too. We did that in about 20 or 30 minutes. There is Inquisitor's Helmet number 3 for another 2 mil profit. Uh, that one took a bit longer, almost an hour for that one to complete. Obviously, it's not a very high volume item, so you do have to wait a bit. And there we go, there is number four. We did have to cut the margin a bit here. Uh, we ended up getting about a 1.5 mil profit. Still very happy with that. We're gonna try for another one. And in the background, we're doing quite a few other flips, actively flipping the Ancestral Armor Set combination, Dragon Full Helms, although that's not very active, and pretty much anything else that I think is gonna be profitable. Okay, so unfortunately that was the last Inquisitor's Full Helm I managed to do, but luckily it sold before it got too late. And we got our profit and got out without really any issues. Luckily, because the items prices crashed a lot overnight, that is a really good example of why you don't want to hold on to those items overnight. But look at that, guys. We're up to 1,029, which means we're at about a 30 mil profit so far on day number three. So we're pretty much right on schedule. It seems like I'm doing really well, but actually that's pretty much exactly what I need. So yeah, this is going to be pretty challenging because I think I have gotten a bit lucky on some items overall. Okay, so today we have a load of different items I'm going to be trying. Some of the new ones I haven't done too much are the Dagenhai Robe Top, which has about a 300k margin. We're kind of doing a mix of active flips and slower flips. I am pretty optimistic with the items we have in so far. It is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be wasting a bit of experience today, unfortunately. But you know what? I'll make it up to you guys. Okay, we have a massive overnight flip here. We have a ton of money invested. You can see we only had 110 mil left over, which means we invested close to a bill and all of those items bought, which is kind of rare. Pretty much everything had a really nice profit. Um, let's start with the best one, which is the Dragon Full Helm. We ended up getting a 313k profit per Full Helm, which means we got about 2.5 mil in profit. And next up here, we have the Cape of Skulls, which we got just about a 300k profit on. Not very good. Uh, we have the Torture Ornament Kit, which surprisingly gave us about a 650k profit. I'm pretty sure the market's kind of going up right now because we kind of got weirdly lucky on everything. Uh, the Boots of Brimstone, we got about 900k in profit on just because we got so many of them. And I think I forgot the Degen High, which we got about a 1.2 mil profit on. Overall, about 7.3 mil in profit overnight, bringing us up to a 40 mil total profit on day 
Number four, pretty much, so we're pretty well just on schedule. A few items that have been working really well for us recently are the Dagonai robe tops, which you've been getting about a 200 to 300k profit on each one. Also, the Dragon Full Helms have been amazing, usually getting about a 300 to 400k profit, and these items flip rather quickly. So we're definitely going to repeat those two items. Now, I'm going to try another Third Age item. We're going to do the Third Age ranged top, and I'm pretty much just going to guess the margin. It's kind of been something I've been doing more this week. Normally, I price check it, but when we're getting into these kind of rarer items, the margins can be too big that you're actually just investing too much money to check the margin versus how many you're able to flip. So I think I'm better off guessing for these rarer items. And that's pretty much it for any interesting items. The rest are going to be staple items that we do a lot. We'll fill up our offer slots and we'll check back in a bit later. Okay, so here I am just kind of minding my own business, doing some recording, and then all of a sudden it sounds like someone's literally buzz sawing my roof in half. Um, apparently they're cleaning the ducks today. So hopefully that doesn't get in the way of my recording. They stopped for a minute here. But if it sounds like one of my doors is getting sawed in half, don't worry, just routine maintenance apparently. So the last couple of days we didn't do anything that out of the ordinary, but we are up to 47 mil. Like I said, the last couple of days of every week, I'm not really at my computer as much. Uh, so because of that, we didn't really experiment with too many new items or anything. We do still have a couple days left, which I'm really going to try to take advantage of. So the new Nightmare items are crashing really quickly right now, and the main reason for that is they actually released the drop rates. And I guess they're more common than most people think. I haven't really looked at it too much, but regardless, uh, the items are dropping in value very quickly, so I'm not going to be flipping them until they stabilize a bit. Now the benefits here are the items will get a lot cheaper, which will allow me to flip a lot more of them. Now the negatives being that it may have been a bit too early to release the drop raids. Being fully transparent about that kind of leaves no room for speculation or anything, but we're really going to have to see how it goes. Okay, so today is February 18th, and uh, more business as usual for the most part. We didn't really do anything too exciting uh, today or yesterday, but just a lot of staple flips. Some of the better ones this time were the Dex Prayer Scroll, which I managed to get 8 overnight. I kind of just lowballed an offer about 300k less than the actively traded price at the time. Managed to buy them all overnight and sell them for about a about 250k profit. So we got like 1.8 mil on that. Uh, we also managed to get about a 1.5 mil profit on just 5 of the Dagon High Robe Tops. Very good. That item has been serving us very well the last couple of days. And we also got around a mil in profit on the Ring of Gods. With everything else included, we got about 5.7 mil overnight, which is pretty good in my opinion. Overnight flips can vary a lot, but 5 mil is pretty good for not much effort. And once we claim our money, we are up to 1 bill 56 mil. And we got one more day to go. So I was kind of shooting in the back of my head for 70 mil in profit. Don't think I'm going to get that, but I think we could easily get 60 mil or maybe a bit more than that which I think would be still a really good start. Okay, something really, really weird just happened. I just woke up at 6 a.m. I thought I misread this like three or four times because I was tired, but I literally just made two mil trying to price check an item. I bought the Justicia armor set, um, turned it into the separate pieces, sold off those, and I ended up just making two mil. And we're going to try it one more time. I'm going to go calculate this a fifth time just to make sure. No, I'm actually right. I literally just made 2.6 mil on the first combination and 2.6 mil on the second one. Now, I'm pretty sure it's because of the Justicia face guard. That is actually 2 mil above what it should be. Let's try for three more, which would be the buying limit. That would just be so insane, guys. This was supposed to be the end, but something just completely crazy just happened. That's a little unfortunate, but you know what? Still, that was it really the easiest 5 mil of my life. This stuff does happen occasionally, it's pretty rare, but we just found a huge discrepancy in the market. We kind of capitalized on it, but honestly, I probably could have gotten another 7.5 mil in profit. If I was thinking clearly, I would have done that, but it's 6 a.m. guys, you can see there, I really have not been awake that long. So we are at the end of this week's episode. I have a pretty good feeling about this. I think we did fairly well. I don't know if we're going to hit the 70 mil mark, but I think we could be close. 
Okay, let's go ahead and hit collect and see where we're at at the end of week number one. We're at one bill, 69 mil, just ever so close. We actually did it. I'm very happy with that. In one week, we made 69.5 mil, which is pretty much right on target. I do think we got a bit lucky on some of this, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to sustain that. But I think with a bit of practice, we should actually be able to do it. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be taking a third of all of my profits, putting it on my main account. We're going to be stacking up money on that account and using it uh, to do some of the more interesting and expensive training methods. For example, 350k to 400k an hour defense experience using chinchampas, uh, superior dragon bones, stuff like that. We're going to be maxing out skills very quickly. I will have a video out actually in a couple of days where I will be getting a 99 in the skill. This isn't really going to be a series. I'm just going to be releasing videos as I max skills on an account. So each skill that I max will probably have a video except for runecrafting, which will have three prequels and five main episodes. So a third of 69 is about 23.1 mil, a pretty nice lump sum for the account. And that leaves us with a 46 mil in profit we can take towards our next episode and hopefully exponentially grow from there. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the first episode. If you have any feedback right now, it'd be extremely helpful, whether it be how I'm editing the videos, what kind of flips I'm including, the general trajectory of the account. Really appreciate it if you let me know because it's still early on and I can make some changes fairly easily. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.